Got a taste for a deal? Want a hamburger, some fries, a drink, nuggets? Boom! Rewarded with the Wendy's 4 for 4 perk on Grubhub. Nappers of all happy nappers. They're the perfect play pillows that pull open to a sleepy sack surprise. They are happy, happy nappers. They love to sleep and play with you. Every happy napper goes from the perfect play pillow to a super soft sleepy sack with a simple pull and zip. And then your child can snuggle up and nap inside of it. They're your go anywhere friends that play with you all day. Sleepy time, play time, any time is happy napper time. And when the napping is done, they fold back in for even more fun. You can be a happy napper too for $39.99 plus $4.99 processing and handling. Plus, you'll get a digital storybook free with your paid order. And for even more fun, we'll lower the price when you get more than one. You can log on at happynappers.com to get yours. Each sold you can be a happy order napper too. Order. Lots of attention. You get a crawl, and crawl, 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 and you gotta do this like Googie Gaga. Hey, oh, Googie Gaga, hello. You got to cry all day like this. You can't do wine and wine when you're having your day pretend. <laughs> or you can suck your phone. Or your pinky. Go. work this. Oh, yes. I've nearly dug my digger to bits. And my rollers are... are... Holy! Stop! Whew! That was a bit close. You nearly flattened the fence there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Not to worry. No harm done. I think it's about time we called it a day. We're all getting a bit tired. I think I could sleep for a week. A month. Two months. A year. Two years. All right, you two. It's not a competition. Sorry, Bob. Just put this around the trench. Don't want anyone falling in, do we? <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. Tig! Ah, you're 
I'm not. It's time for me to go home. Or it would be if Bob was back. He's very late. Hi, Wesley. Mm. Oh, we're back. Yes, and worn out too, by the looks of things. Yes, we all are. It's been a very long... <laughs> Pilchard. Hello, Wendy. Oh, what jobs have we got to do today? Well, Dizzy, I'll just pop into the office and get my list. Please, hello. Mark, time we got back on the job. Come on, Roly. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Roly? 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 Roly! Uh, Wendy? Have you sent Roly on a job? No. Why? Um, well, he's not in the yard. Oh, oh that's strange. He's what? He's where? What is it, Scoop? Bird says Roly's sleep rolling. He's he's gonna flatten the town into a pancake. <gasps> We'd better go and wake him up before he gets into trouble. Come on, Scoop. No, no, wait, Bob. It can be very muddling for someone if they get woken up miles away from where they've gone to sleep. Somehow, we'll have to guide Roly back here before he wakes up. Right. We'd better split up and see if we can find him. Here, Wendy, take this. We might need to keep in touch. Can we find him? Yes, we can! Wendy said not to wake him, Bob. Oh, yes. Rolly! 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 You haven't seen Rolly, have you, Travis? He's gone missing. Tell me about it. Nearly squashed me flat this morning, he did. Which way did he go? That way. Oh, thanks, Travis. Come on, Lofty. Let's go! Oh! Hi, oh, hi! Don't get in front of him. Oh, dear. I hope nothing's happened. He could Look, be... he's there! What? Where? Oh, <laughs> 
straight for the trench. If he falls in, we'll never get him out again. What are we going to do? Think, Scoop, think. I am thinking. Um, it... Got it. Oh, Bob, what are you doing? Making a bridge, I hope. Oh. Hello. I hope the bridge is stronger than the fence. No, I can't bear to look. Wendy? Oh, Wendy, we found him. I want you to get over to Mr. Beasley's with Lofty quickly. Right, Lofty. A little closer. Oh, be careful, Bob. Right. Take him back, Lofty. Gently does it. I'm worn out. Oh, me too, I think. Bob, we can't find Rowley. Shh. Rowley! Oh, hooray! Oh, hi, everyone. Time to get up, eh? Boy, I've had a really refreshing sleep. Come on, Muck, let's... Ha, ha, ha! Would you look at that, Dizzy? Max asleep! <laughs> Dizzy? <coughs> Lofty? Yes. Scoop? Ah, oh, well. Come on, Bob. Can we fix it? Oh, afraid not, Rolly. Not just now. A bit tired. See you tomorrow, Wendy. Bye, Bob. Bye, Rolly. Bird? What's happening? Look at them! All asleep! <laughs> and it was me who was working my rollers off yesterday. Not them. I can't understand it. At Chewy, we know the best moments with our pets are made even better with food. So you can save on their favorite meals and between meals, late night snacks, toys that look like meals, and even prescriptions, all delivered right to your door. Save 30% on your first auto ship order at Chewy. <laughs> Everybody, we are the cows. We are our cattle, but us females are called cows. A male cow is called a bull. A long, long time ago, humans discovered how useful we could be. So humans tamed us, and the more the numbers of people increased, the more we became important. So we moved to live side by side with humans. We live in places called farms. Female cows produce milk. We can't produce milk until after we've had our first baby cow. We call these babies calves. In the past, people used their hands to milk us. But nowadays, a lot of farmers use machines. For milk, you can make cheese, butter, and yogurt. People sometimes copy our skin patterns when they design clothes and bags. Mm -hmm. Relax. 
rocks, have some grass. Cows spend a lot of time eating. We eat up to eight hours a day. Of course, all this eating makes us very thirsty, so we drink enough water in a day to fill a bathtub. So the next time you drink a glass of milk, remember where it comes from. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. These people are here to pick up the same prescription. They both know drug costs are out of control, but one of them is taking back control with GoodRx. So while he's paying that much, she's paying this much. Stop paying too much for your prescriptions. Download the free app today. Surprise me! I'm the octopus! First things first! Do you know what octopus means? Of course you don't! And I'm here to tell you that it means eight feet! These arms or feet have suckers on them that we use to grip surfaces or hang on to our prey like so. You might be thinking at this point that we have a very large head. What looks like a large head is in actual fact my bag-like body. See here? It contains my digestive system and my heart. Jet propulsion, kids. It happens when we squeeze water out rapidly from the end of our bodies. And that makes us move. That's how we swim and how we escape from our enemies. We also use camouflage. That's when we change our color to match our surroundings. Sometimes we also change our color to show feelings and to attract females. Our defensive maneuvers also include the smoke screen tactic. We use this black ink tactic to cover our retreat from enemies if they try to eat us. These are our favorite dishes. Crabs, shellfish, and fish. I'm about to launch a full-scale attack here, so you might want to go. Surrender, fish! You're only making it difficult on yourself now, you hear? will be here in the morning to take care of the office work. Don't worry about us, Wendy. You just enjoy your visit to your sister. Oh, I will. Oh, she's got a lovely garden with a patio and everything. Unlike mine, which is a complete mess. Oh, well now. Uh, Bob? Oh, right, yes. Wendy, you'd better get going or you'll miss your train. Right then. Bye, everyone. <sighs> See you tomorrow night. Bye. Bye. I'll send Scoop to pick you up from the station. Oh! <laughs> I miss Wendy when she's not here. Not to worry, Dizzy. We'll be too busy to miss her. What do you mean, Bob? I've just had an idea. We're going to fix Wendy's garden up so it's as nice as her sister's. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's that's fantastic. Fantastic. I like a spot of gardening. I'll do all the flat bits, dear. Yeah? We haven't got much time, though. We'll have to start bright and early in the morning. Oh, 
All right, Pilchard. I'll get your breakfast now. <coughs> Bob's building yard. Oh, hello, Mrs. Potts. Oh, dear. Well, don't worry. You just stay in bed and get better. Bye. Oh, well, I expect we'll manage somehow. All right, Pilchard, I'm coming. There won't be anyone in the office, so I'll leave the answer phone on and pop in now and then to check the messages. So, we're still going to work on Wendy's garden, then? Of course we are. Great! Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Right, Scoop and Rolly. I've ordered some flagstones, turf and tubs from the garden centre. You can go and pick them up. No problem, Bob. Muck, Dizzy and Lofty, you're on gardening duties. Let's get these timbers loaded. Oh, all right, Bob. Right, let's see. We'll have a bit of a lawn in the middle, a patio by the house, and over there, we'll put up a pergola. Um, what's a pergola? A big wooden frame thing. Very nice for sitting under. Can we have some flowers, please? <laughs> Wendy loves flowers. Good idea, Dizzy. We'll have a flower bed over there. And I'll order some plants when I get back to the office later. All right, everyone. Let's get to it. Just going back to the office to check the messages and order those plants. OK, Bob. Shall I give you a lift? Good idea, Lofty. It'll save time. See you later. Bye, Bob. Hello? Is that Bob's building yard? Hello? Oh, my goodness. Um, hello? Hello? Oh. Now, how did that happen? Wow. Oh, no. There's a load of messages, too. Hello, it's that Bobby Builders Yard. I was wondering if you could come and fix my sink because it's been stuck for ages in the water. Oh. Go away and I'm going to change. Oh. I need to wash my face. Thank you. Oh, why do I always have trouble with this answering machine? Where's that instruction book? Wow. Oh, never mind. I'll sort it out later. Wow. I must send that fax to the garden centre. Right, that's the plants ordered. Oh, no, it's nearly three o'clock already. I'd better get back to Wendy's garden. See you later, Pilchard. All right, Lofty, step on it. Hello. Oh, great. Here comes Scoop and Rolly. All right, everybody, we've got the stuff from the garden centre. Now we can finish the job off. Uh, but, Bob, what about the flowers? Oh, I've ordered them, Dizzy. You and Muck can go and pick them up. Oh, goody! Woo! Hello. <laughs> this is Bob's building yard. Please leave a message after the <laughs> Oh, I've forgotten my fork. Come on, Lofty. Where did 
did I put that fork? Ah, there it is. Oh, my goodness. What's happened here? It's no good looking all innocent, Pilchard. When Wendy sees this, we'll both be in trouble. Now, how am I supposed to fix this? Oh, it's so too late. It's six o'clock. Wendy will be back soon. Oh, come on, everybody. We've got to get a move on. Well, we're all done, Bob. There's just the pergola to finish off and the flowers to plant. Don't panic. I'm on the case. Scoop, you'd better go and meet Wendy. Go on. What on earth is that noise coming from my garden? Oh, that, um, that's just, uh, a woodpecker. <laughs> if it is, it's the biggest one in the world. Wendy, close your eyes and come with me. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> OK, you can open your eyes now. Surprise, surprise! Oh, Bob! <gasps> Oh, it's beautiful! A patio! Oh, just right for barbecues. A pagola. I'll be able to sit out in the summer evenings. Oh, and a lovely flower bed with all my favourite plants. Oh, Bob, thank you. Thanks, all of you. Oh. In all the excitement, I forgot to ask you, Bob. Did Mrs. Potts manage all right in the office? Ah, well, she couldn't make it. She was ill, and everything's in a bit of a mess. In fact, I was wondering if you could come in early and sort it out. Oh, do you mean, can I fix it? Oh, oh Wendy. <laughs> yes, of course I can. <laughs> oh, it's rather nice to know I've been missed. Anyway... I don't mind at all, because I know that when I come home at the end of the day, I can put my feet up and then I can have... Oh! Bob, do you think I should have a fountain? <coughs> fountain? so easy to sell on Poshmark. You just pick out your item, snap a couple of photos, and boom, it's up for sale. When I look at my old clothes now, I see dollar signs. Just this month, I've made a couple hundred dollars on Poshmark just selling items out of my closet. Buy and sell from home with the Poshmark app. Go in the flow! I'm nervous about going to summer camp. Why? I've never been to camp before. What if I don't know where to go or how to play any of the games? You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow? You mean I should bring my swimsuit? I didn't even know there'd be water sports. No, I meant just do what everyone else does. Going with the flow means following the rest of the group. Apparently, this phrase comes from Marcus Aurelius, who was an emperor of Rome. He believed in things flowing naturally. So even though he was an emperor and ruled everything, sometimes he thought it was better to just follow the natural course of events and let things happen. That's how the phrase, go with the flow, came about. So I should just see what everyone else is doing at camp and follow them? Yes. Don't be such a worry wart. Just chill. Will there be water polo? I can't do water polo. I can't swim and play ball at the same time. Go with the flow! Um, um, I, I think I forgot my swim ring. Um, don't wait for me. But you're wearing it. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to mush? Do you really want to mush? I want to mush a belly. Mush, mush a belly. 
You know you wanna mush a belly. They're the grumbling bean bad bellies that you mush. Mush them up, mush them down. Pick them up, hug them round. Mush them so they grumble. Push them and they tumble. Any way you mush, they're gonna grumble, grumble, grumble. You can mush your own mushy belly for $29.99 and we'll ship it to you free. Plus, free mushy belly chatter. Mush a belly. Mush belly. to order. Good afternoon. I'm the Aardvark, and you're in my way. I live in Africa. Our name, Aardvark, means Earth Pig. But I'm no pig, even though I know I might look like a pig. I'm a mammal, but I think it's fair to say that I'm unlike any other mammal. Not only do I have a long pig-like snout, but I also have large donkey-like ears. <laughs> and check this out. I have hair on the inside of my nostrils. That helps me to filter out dust and small insects when I'm digging. And I can fold my ears over to stop insects from getting into them. This is useful, especially when I'm feeding. Termites! Food! Mm. Termites are like ants, only tastier. They live in these nests, which I rip open with my sharp claws. I use my long, sticky tongue to lick them up, which is nice. I eat ants too, by the way. Oh, excuse me. I use my claws for other things as well. When enemies like the lion or the leopard threaten me, I can dig very quickly and disappear below ground. Or I can kick and slash my attacker with my claws. Aardvarks live on their own in deep burrows. Do you mind? We live on our own. You're in my way again. Hello? Okay, take care for now. Bye. With a doll like me, join Madeline as she embarks on a series of adventures along with her boarding school friends. Watch Madeline here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. Get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Get your toolbox, Bob. You won't be able to put up the signpost without it. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Careful, Dizzy. Rolly and Muck were working late last night. Yeah. They need to sleep. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. It's time we left. Let's go, team. <laughs> I've been standing on them all morning. But it's only breakfast time. Yes, but being a scarecrow is very, very hard work. Standing in a field all day isn't as easy as you think it would. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> nice one, Spud. Right, that's it. I'm going to get a new job. I want to do something easier than being a scarecrow. Like what, Spud? Hmm. I know. I could be a racing car driver. <laughs> Ah, that will be easy. Or, or maybe, maybe I could be a pilot. But you can't drive or fly a plane. I could learn. Spud, you know.
know you shouldn't play near roads. Yes, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Can you go and tell Farmer Pickles I won't be able to fix the window frames in the old cottage until tomorrow? OK, Bob. Spud's on the job, Bob. Thanks, Spud. Right. We've got to get moving, team. Let's go. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Travis, Bob's toolbox. Oh. <laughs> Forget Spud the Scarecrow. From now on, I'm Spud the Spanner. Oh, Spud the Spanner, eh? That's right. I'm going to be a builder, just like Bob. <laughs> and the first thing I'm going to fix with my new toolbox is that gate. Right then. Scoop! My toolbox has gone. Oh no! It must have dropped out on the journey. I hope you're right, Scoop. My best spanner was in it. Lofty, can you go and look for it? Oh, um, yeah, I think so. Thanks, Lofty. <laughs> Well, Travis, what do you think? It looks a bit wobbly to me, Spud. It's meant to look like that. Oh, is it? <laughs> this building stuff is easy. I wonder what else I can find to fix. I know. The window frames in the old cottage. Oh, that's a good idea. Right. I've got my toolbox and, yes, my machine. Travis? Ho, 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 ho. Not me, Spud. I'm off. Farmer Pickles wants me to plough a field. Boy. Travis! Travis! You don't know what you're missing. Hello, Lofty. What are you doing? Oh, oh I'm looking for Bob's toolbox. Is, um, uh, this it, Lofty? Oh, yes. Oh, can I have it, please? Yes, if you help me with a bit of building first. Oh. It'll help. Bob out. Oh, well, OK, then. Hooray! I've got a machine. Now I'm a proper builder. Lofty and Spud are on the job. Oh, oh, are we? Hello? Bob's building yard. Oh, hello, Bob. Oh, you've lost your toolbox. Right, oh, Bob. I'll send him up with a spare one straight away. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Where are you two going? Can't stop, Muck. We've got to go and fix the window frames in the old cottage. <laughs> hey, just a minute. That was Bob's toolbox Lottie he was carrying. Oh, no. Better tell Bob. This doesn't look too hard to fix, does it, Lofty? Oh, well, um... I'll start with fixing the door. Oh, oh, I can't look. <laughs> Bob, oh, um, I've just seen Spud and Lofty, and, and, and he had your... Slow and, and, down, and, and, Mark. I can't understand what you're saying. Spud, God, you're... Uh, toolbox! He's, he's on his way to fix the old cottage with Lofty! Oh, no! We'd better stop Spud before he hurts himself. Let's go, team! Ow! Not again! Not a bad job, Spud the Spanner. Uh, yeah, but, um, all the windows, they're crooked. That's how they're supposed to look. <laughs> Anyway, we've got another job to do. Oh, uh, have we? One of the barns has a bit of roof missing, and we're going to fix it. Lofty and Spud are on the job. <laughs> oh, no! What a mess! I think we'd better put the window frames in properly before they fall out. I wonder if there's anything else that needs to be fixed here. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh! 
Oh! Oh, this is exciting. I've never fixed a roof before. Oh, be careful, Spud. Don't worry. This is a job for Spud the Spanner. <laughs> Where's my hammer? Oh, no. I must have left it on the ground. Oh, 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 oh. oh what should oh. I do? Oh, 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 no, no. Maybe, maybe I should uh, follow him. Make a start on the windows next. Okay, Bob. Uh, what's that in the sky? Landing, Spud. Hello, Bob. I'm stuck. Well, Spud, I'll only get you down if you promise never to use my tools again. It's dangerous. You could have hurt yourself. Oh, sorry, Bob. Now, can I have my toolbox back, Spud? Oh, Bob, I, I am... Oh, oh, it's all right, Bob. I've got it. Thanks, Lofty. Now you can bring Spud down. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'll stay a scarecrow from now on. It's safer. Spot the super scarecrow! <laughs> just got more rewarding. Now the Grubhub gives you rewards when you order your fave foods. Want a hamburger, some fries, a drink, nuggets? Then boom, rewarded with a Wendy's 4 for 4 perk. Ordering Chipotle for the family? Voila, rewarded with guacamole and a side of quiet. Grubhub gives you rewards for rewarding yourself with food. See what happens when we mix red with yellow. Red, yellow. Can you guess what color we have made? Orange. That's right, orange. Well done. Mixing red with yellow makes orange. Those nachos look pretty good. They are. All snacks are half price from three to four. That's only 10 more minutes. You'd better strike while the iron is hot. No, Moon, this is baseball. Strikes are bad. I don't want strikes at all. Strike while the iron is hot means make the most of an opportunity. Don't wait too long. It's an old blacksmith's phrase. Striking while the iron is hot dates back to at least the Middle Ages when blacksmiths still made metal horseshoes by hand. 
They had to heat up the metal and shape it with a hammer and other tools immediately after it came out of the fire. Otherwise, the metal would get less pliable as it cooled, and the opportunity to shape it would be lost. Over the years, we started to use the same phrase to mean, take advantage of an opportunity now while it's still there. Good to know. All right, I'll be back. Gotta hurry so I can watch my team beat yours. But we're cheering for the same team. Ah, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Go team! <laughs> yeah, okay. I sent your new prescription to the pharmacy. Any idea how much it will cost? I recommend GoodRx. You get free coupons to save on your prescriptions. GoodRx, smart. Stop paying too much for your prescriptions. Thanks. Download the free app today. We've heard it all before, brother. Some say we look like geese. Others say we look like storks. Well, I say we are neither. I say we belong in a group of our very own, the Flamingos. Are you with me? Say it with me, brother. We are not just flamingos. We are greater flamingos. Hold your head up high. No, oh, why do I bother? So what can I help you with? Oh, so you noticed I'm pink. Well, so what? Personally, I prefer the term rose-colored flamingo, as we are also called. And I'm proud of my color. We're pink because we eat these things. Crustaceans, mollusks, and blue-green algae. Do you know what that means? It means our diet is rich in the pigments alpha and beta carotene. No, I don't want to get too scientific. But beta carotene is the stuff that makes carrots orange. Only when we eat it, it turns us pink. Makes sense, right? Yeah, I know. You think our large bent beaks are funny looking. But if you tried scooping algae and shrimp out of a lake with your tiny mouths, you'd appreciate a beak like mine. We live next to or in lagoons and lakes. Funny, you haven't mentioned our long skinny legs yet. How's this for unusual? With our heads laid back and with one leg folded under our bellies, we are able to stand on one leg, on water, or on land for hours. How many animals could do that? Tell them, brother. Tell them how flamingos live in big groups called colonies. Tell them how we like to live in temperate and tropical regions. Yes, yes. Go on, my brother. Tell them. Flamingos! the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Time to decorate the yard for the holidays. <laughs> the Christmas tree's here. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 it weighs a ton. Oh, it's great. Right. First, we need some fairy lights. Oh, you know what I wish? I wish it would snow. Not much chance of that, I'm afraid. It never seems to snow here at Christmas. I don't know, Bob. The weather report on the television said that it might this year. Oh, I'll get it. Oh. Um, that was Mrs. Percival from the school on the phone. <gasps> Mrs. Percival! I'd almost forgotten! Forgotten what, Bob? I said I'd be Father Christmas for the school carol concert. I get to wear a red outfit and a beard and everything. Why can't Father 
Christmas go to the school himself? Yes, yeah, good point, actually. Yes, I mean, he ought to do it. Father Christmas is very busy at the moment. Yes, he's um, busy wrapping all the presents he's got to deliver and uh, getting his sleigh ready. So, um, he sometimes needs people to help him, you know, to, to visit schools and shops. You mean you're one of Father Christmas's helpers? Yes, you could say that. Oh, no! oh, oh that's that's us. Well, if I'm going to help Father Christmas, I'd better make some presents to take with me. Build a snowman. <laughs> now that's what I call a snowman. <laughs> oh, Bob, this is urgent. That was Farmer Pickles on the phone. He's completely snowed in, and he needs you to go and dig him out. Come on, Scoop. This is a job for your snowplow. Can we dig it? Yes, we can. Bob's got a pretty busy Christmas Eve. I'd better get on with decorating the yard. It's Bob's mobile. Oh, he's forgotten it again. Dizzy! Could you take it to him? Oh, of course I can, Wendy! So bye then! Bye, Dizzy! That's the stuff, Scoop. Whoa! Looks like you might have your work cut out. It's starting to snow again. You're right. Come on, Scoop. Keep at it. Oh, this snow's really cold. Oh, I know. I'll cut across the field. Yes, it'll be quicker. Super slippery scarecrow. It's a snow monster. Well, Scoop, you've done a grand job. Help! It's horrible. It's you. Something the matter, Spud? Yeah, yeah, yes. Back there, it's a, a, a snow monster. A snow monster? Hmm. Come on, we better go and have a look. Help! Um. Good afternoon. It seems to know you, Bob. What's on that fella? It's me, Dizzy. Dizzy? Dizzy? What happened? You forgot your mobile phone. I was bringing it to you, only I took a shortcut and I got stuck. Well, we'd better get you home and into your shelter out of the snow. Come on, you two. Bye, Bob. Bye. Happy Christmas, Bob. <laughs> Oh, look, you make 
a really good sleigh. Wow, Wendy! Mike looks great! Now, I'm one of Father Christmas's helpers too! Yippee! Is that my sleigh? Oh, you look brilliant, Mark. Now all we need is a reindeer. Don't worry. We've got one of those. Here we are. Oh, oh a reindeer and a snow monster all in one day. Right. Off you go. <laughs> Happy Christmas! Bye, Mark. Bye, Bob, and thank you so much, especially for the toys you made. It's been a pleasure. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Mm, I'll just put that there like that. And when I wake up tomorrow, it'll be full of lovely presents for me, me, me. Oh. Uh, uh, Father Christmas, come back! Over here, you missed, you missed one! Christmas to you too, bird. Christmas? It's, it's Christmas! Happy Christmas, everyone! Whoa! Oh, Father Christmas has been! Oh, yippee! Oh, oh, you lot are up early. Yeah, it's Christmas! Happy Christmas, Bob! Happy Christmas, Lofty! Hello! Christmas has left presents and everything. Well, Father Christmas didn't need any help from me this time. Happy Christmas, Bob. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, fantastic. I love ripping the paper. That's my best bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that's brilliant. That's fantastic. <laughs> If you have a child whose curiosity has no limits, give them Little Passports. It will feed their curiosity in a super fun and exciting way. Every month, a new Little Passports package is sent with their name on it, loaded with hands-on projects, puzzles, souvenirs, and activities, like exploring for sea creatures that live in Costa Rica, building a big Ben like the one in England, or making an ancient Greek headpiece. Big fun delivered. Buy now at littlepassports.com. Must be 18 years or older to order. Today we're going to be making friendship trees for our friends to show them how much we care. First, think of a friend that you want to make a tree for. And then think of all of the great qualities that friend has. Here's what you need. Colorful tape, some fun colored cardboard, and a circle punch or scissors for making your leaves. And also maybe some stickers or magazines that remind you of your friend to glue onto your tree. First, use your tape to make the tree trunk and branches. Now find some magazine pictures to cut out or stickers that remind you of your friend. What kind of stickers do you think that your friend would like on her tree? Wow. Wow, guys. Your friends are really gonna love these trees.
The Mother Company. See yourself. Welcome back to the mirror. And know you're not alone. Because this is not just a mirror. It's an unstoppable community. Come on, Jeffy. One more. It's every workout. Come on, you two. Let's go. For everyone. So join in now and see your best self in the mirror. <clears throat> Make way for the black rat. I see my reputation as a pest precedes me, but I may just have some more bad news for you. Where do you think I'm talking to you from right now? A forest, perhaps? A prairie? Or maybe inside your house? Yes. In fact, chances are I'm behind your walls right now. Humans are so important to us rats that we decided long ago to live nice and close to you. We are never far from you, but we in the black rat community feel that you're not as fond of us as we are of you? <laughs> I wonder why that is. <laughs> is it because we help to spread diseases and can make humans and their cattle sick? Or is it because we breed so fast that a couple of rats can give rise to millions of rats within only a few years? Well, whatever you think of us, the fact remains that we are highly successful animals. We also raid your food stores, most of the time without you ever even knowing it. Speaking of which, I'd better go and check what the people of the house have cooked for us today. It works every time. His buddy parrot. Come on, everybody. Let's go on a field trip. Discover, imitate, and dance along with cool animals from around the world. Monkey see, monkey do. Here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. And Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Everyone's busy today, Pilchard. I've got loads of paperwork to do. I know. You want your breakfast? Come on, then. It's a bit messy, Bob. It's very messy, Rolly. Still, not to worry. We'll soon fix it. You can start by rolling the road flat. Right you are, Bob. And Dizzy will be needing lots and lots of concrete. Yippee! Nice mix, Dizzy. Now we can lay those paving stones. Phew! Oh. Can we clear it? Yes, we can! Uh, I think so, but, um, oh, I've just remembered. I've left something behind at the yard. Oh, lofty. <laughs> 
That's okay, Lofty. You can go on back. We'll see you on the other side. Uh, okay. Uh, see you uh, later. Bye. Lofty's going to make us late. Going all the way back to the yard. He's not really going back, Muck. He just wants to go round the long way instead of crossing the bridge. Oh, why is that then? He's scared of heights, remember? Oh, yeah. Like I'm afraid of the dark. Right, let's get to work. What about these logs, Scoop? Leave them for Lofty. He'll be here soon. <laughs> there goes Lofty. I'm going to have some fun. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Great. We saved the logs for you. Can you stack them at the side of the road, please? Oh, uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Let the fun begin. Watch out, Lofty. There's a mouse. A mouse? A mouse? You can go back to the yard if you like. See if Wendy's got any other jobs for you. Oh, um, okay then. Yeah. Uh, see you later. Bye, Lofty. Oh, uh, well, I think I'll go round the other way. It's um, well, it's shorter. Oh, Lofty, scared of heights. Scaredy crane, scaredy crane. Hey, Spud, you leave Lofty alone. <laughs> to worry about Spud. He doesn't mean any harm. Uh, uh. I'm making a little present for Scoop and Muck. <laughs> One, two, three, mud pies away! Hey, what's going on? Oh, oh no! It's Spud! <laughs> Come back! Can't catch me! Can't catch me! <laughs> We have to get Lofty to rescue him. But Lofty's scared of heights. But he's the only one who can reach that far. I'm going to the yard to get him. Oh, dear. Well, I'll talk to him when I get back. OK. Oh, I'd better go. Sounds like Scoop's back, too. Hello, Scoop. What are you doing here? <laughs> There's been an accident. Oh, no. Well, what's happened? It's Bud. He fell off the bridge. Oh, is he hurt? No, he's caught on a bush, but we can't reach him. We need Lofty's help to pull him up. Right. Well, we'd better tell Lofty right away. Lofty, we need your help to rescue Spud. You've got to come back to the bridge. Oh, but... Oh, the bridge! It's too high! It's scary! And Spud's scary, too! But, Lofty, if you don't help, Spud might fall. And you don't want that to happen, do you? Um... Oh... Um, I don't think so, no. Will you and Muck be there, 
school? Of course we will, Lofty. Well... Um... OK, then. I'll give it a go. Good for you, Lofty. Off you go, then. I'll ring Bob and tell him what's happening. An emergency at the bridge? OK, Wendy. I'm on my way. Oh. Help! Help! Hang on, Spud! Oh. 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 Come on, Lofty! Just a bit further! I'm right behind you, Lofty. Just lower your jib. Oh, 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 well, all right, but I can't look down. Bob, you'll have to tell me what to do. No problem, Lofty. Forward a bit. <laughs> Left a bit. <laughs> now, lower your hook. I've got it. I've <laughs> Well done, Spud. OK, Lofty. Oh, oh, did I do it? Of course you did, Lofty. You can open your eyes now. Hooray! Hooray, Hooray Lofty! Good old Lofty. Well done. Nice one, Lofty. Nice one. Wendy? Spud's safe. Lofty rescued him. Oh, thank goodness for that. There you go, Spud. Back home safe and sound. And I don't want any more mischief from you for a while. Now, Bob. Right, Bob. Um, uh, thanks, Bob. Don't thank me. Thank Lofty. If it wasn't for him, you might well not be here at all. I know. Thanks, Lofty. And sorry about teasing you. Are we still friends? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Hooray for Lofty! That was really good, Lofty! You're my hero! Hooray! Oh, that's really nice! I'm Doug Hirsch. You may already know that GoodRx can help you save up to 80% on your prescriptions. Unfortunately, many Americans can't get to a doctor right now. The good news is that for many health issues, you can see a doctor online. It's easy. Just go to GoodRx.com, and with a few clicks, you'll be treated by a licensed medical professional, all from the comfort of your own home. Visits are confidential and affordable. Need a prescription? Your doctor can send it to your pharmacy or have it mailed to you. Get the health care you deserve at GoodRx.com. Wow! <laughs> you must be either very brave or very curious to come and visit us because we're penguins and we live in a very cold place. No matter what your reasons are, you're very welcome to the Antarctic, the coldest place in the world. I'm the Emperor Penguin, and I'm the largest of all the penguins. It may be freezing for you here, but our bodies have a thick layer of fat under the skin that helps us keep warm. But not only that, penguins, as you can see, live in big groups called rookeries. And when it's freezing cold, we pack tightly together. And this also helps keep us warm. Our bodies are entirely covered with feathers, but they're so smooth, it looks like skin. Ooh, I'm starting to get hungry. Fancy a swim? Penguins are birds, you know, but our wings, 
but too small for us to fly. So we use them as flippers and swim instead. And that's cool. Great dive, huh? Our flippers help us chase our food, which is fish, shellfish, and small squids. And these flippers also help us to escape from the animals that like to eat us. Like seals. <laughs> Oh, I better join the rookery again. Oh, oh, that's better. Hi. Success. Hello there. <laughs> I'm a beaver. And we beavers are rodents. Rodents have strong and sharp front teeth. Watch! Timber! Success again! <laughs> beavers live in water. But we only live in lakes, streams, or rivers that have wooded banks. Why? That's why. Beavers are engineers, and without trees, we can't build our family homes. First, we build a dam <laughs> using branches from trees. We also use mud and stones that we gather from the banks with our front paws. The dam stops the flow of water, and now we have a calm pond where we can build our family homes. <laughs> We call our family homes lodges. Our lodges protect us from cold weather and from our enemies. The entry to a lodge is built underwater. Uh-oh! <laughs> if the stream floods and breaks the dam, we repair it straight away. That's my dad. <laughs> He taught me how to become an engineer. Beavers have very close family ties. We are great swimmers. And our wide, flat tail pushes us quickly through the water and helps us steer. I have to go back to work now. I'm working on a new lodge design. Timber! the job done. We've got to get on with that big roofing job today, so we'll need these tiles, OK? Uh, uh, OK, Bob. <laughs> sure, sure, Dizzy! Race it down the wing! Hey, hey, everyone, come and look at this. What is it, Bob? Look what we found when Lofty lifted the tiles. Oh, it's a bird's nest. And look what's inside it. An egg. An egg? But not the ones Bob has for breakfast. No, Roly. I think this egg is going to hatch into a baby bird. Oh, oh let me see. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Hello, baby bird. Can you hear me in there? Hmm. I don't like the look of those tyres. 
They might fall on the nest at any moment. We could move the nest somewhere safe. Oh, no, Mook. You should never disturb or move a nest, especially one that has an egg in it. We should just leave it alone and try not to make any noise when we're near it. I don't know where the mother bird is, but she certainly picked a bad spot to build her nest. Oh, look! Here she comes now. <laughs> If that's the egg's mother, what does it make us? Well, I suppose it makes us its aunts and uncles. Wow! <laughs> I've never been an auntie before. Right, everyone. We've got work to do, except you, Roly. You can have the day off. Oh, thanks, Bob. <sighs> Dizzy, why don't you stay here on bird watch? I won't need any cement until I start work on the chimney. <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Bird. I'm going to look after you and your egg, cos I'm your egg's auntie. OK, let's go. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Thanks again, Dizzy. I haven't got time to play, Roly. I'm looking after the nest. Oh, uh, uh, all right then. OK, Lofty, send up the tiles. OK, Bob. Well, Filchard, I don't think you're going to have to worry about any more flying footballs today. <laughs> oh, I'm bored. <sighs> ah. all of today's letters finished. Oh, I wonder how Dizzy's getting on. <laughs> Can't catch me, Pilchard! Dizzy? Pilchard? Right! <laughs> There's only one more defender to beat! Dizzy beats her wow. eyes and open goal! Hey! Dizzy shoots! <laughs> Dizzy! Hey. Be careful! The nest! Oh, no! <laughs> That was close. Dizzy, you must be more careful where you kick your ball. You could have hit the nest. Even Pilcher was trying to stop you. Oh, I didn't mean to kick it at the nest. Oh, really, I didn't. I was just... Team, we should finish the tiling and repair the chimney today. Is everybody ready? Oh, yeah, we're ready, yeah, Bob, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Come on, Dizzy. It's time to go. Oh, but, but I've got to bird watch. I can do it if you like. Good idea, Scoop. Off 
a go, Dizzy. The sooner you're finished, the sooner you can come back. Don't worry. I'll mix that cement faster than it's ever been mixed before. Do you need any cement yet, Bob? Not yet, Dizzy. I've just got a few more tiles to lay. Uh, what's up, Dizzy? Wendy says the baby bird is almost big enough to fly. I, I don't want to miss that. Uh, now do you want any cement, Bob? Not yet, Dizzy. I'll let you know when I do. Oh! OK, Dizzy. Get mixing. Yippee! I understand, Dizzy. Just hope there's enough left for the chimney. Good, good. I think that should be enough. Oh, can I go now, Bob? Can I please? Oh, go on then. <laughs> You're just in time to see something really special. I think the baby bird's going to fly. Oh, no! Oh, hooray! Good catch, Scoop. Yes, well done. Oh, and look, it's going to try again. the baby bird can fly, they don't need the nest anymore. They can go wherever they want. I think he's saying thank you. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> it was fun being an auntie. Hello, team. Baby bird learned to fly, Bob. Thank you to me first. Oh, that's great. Maybe it will come back and visit you one day. I wonder what Dizzy's going to do now they've gone. Oh, I'm sure she'll think of something. I'm an auntie. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's our Dizzy. She's always in a spin. <laughs> We've all got something in our closet we can sell. Jeans you don't love? Sneakers not your style anymore? Jacket that's just not your color? Well, on Poshmark, you can put them up for sale in seconds. Just take a photo, set your price, and turn your closet into cash. Buy and sell from home with a Poshmark app. And now, here's something I hope you'll really like. Norm is letting me host this one so I can practice and one day change the world by doing speeches to small critters unprovoked. This episode is about the squirrel. That's my favorite animal. Ahem. The squirrel comes from the medium-sized rodent family, the same family that houses the chipmunk, woodchuck, prairie dog, oriental giant squirrel, Asian ornate squirrel, marmot, flying squirrel, and meerkat. Most of them are known for their distinctive tails, ranging from the wide, bushy, long, or barbecued, apparently, Invincible and handsome as we are, we can live in any place on Earth that has plants, so the poles and dry deserts are out. We have a heightened sense of vision, allowing us to travel through trees flawlessly and to defeat predators in hilarious fashion. <laughs> While I prefer nuts, we are herbivores, whose diet consists of fruit, buds, flowers, pine tree cones, fungi, leaves, and seeds. 
but some species can even eat animals, like insects, eggs, tiny birds, tiny snakes, and tiny rodents. Uh... We have 285 reported species housing the previously mentioned types and many more. There, how was that? Find the canoe sloop down next time. I've been swiping these cars like mad for 15 minutes. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Chipotle for the family? Voila! Reward. With guacamole and a side of quiet. Grubhub gives you rewards for rewarding yourself with food. Bison. Uh, when we bison are scared, our normal reaction is to run like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> we, we call it stampeding. When we stampede like that, we tend to damage uh, everything in our path. Sorry. We, we bison have really uh, great hearing and uh, smelling senses. Like, like the moment I sniffed you guys, I was out of there. <laughs> but uh, our vision is uh, uh, its not so good. With our sharp sense of smell, we can smell a wolf approaching from a fair distance. So, uh, so that's good. Uh, male bison or bulls gather around the female bisons or cows who encircle our young. And if this doesn't work, oh. we stampede. So uh, how would I describe myself? Uh, large, massive, enormous, and uh, hairy. Uh, see, I'm the largest land animal in North America, which is, uh, which is good, because that's where we live. I have a massive head, <laughs> and I have horns, too. Uh, let me chew on some juicy grass now. All that stampeding got me hungry. So, shoo now, uh, shoo! <laughs> that love math and are always ready to help their friends by solving math problems and equations. Monster Math Squad, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. the job done. you lot let's get started hello wendy hey wendy you look great thanks scoop um is it a special occasion or something well there's not much on today and you did say your kitchen needed decorating so uh i thought perhaps i'd make a start right that's great um do you need any help Dizzy. I said, can't we, Dizzy? What? Oh, <laughs> yes, of course we can. <laughs> can what? Oh, anyway, you haven't got time. You've got to finish building that flat for Mrs. Broadbend. Her mother's arriving in the next day or two. Oh, I finished that yesterday. We're off to the town hall, aren't we? Can I roll it? Yes, you can. <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get moving. See ya. Bye. Come on, Dizzy. 
We'll get moving too. Just a bit there. Where? Just there. Oh. Oh, morning, Bob. Hello, Mrs. Broadbent. Your mum arrived yet, has she? Not yet, Bob. She's coming tomorrow. She'll love the little flat you've built for her. When it's decorated, that is. But I thought the decorators were starting today. I'm afraid they've let me down, Bob. And I can't put the furniture in until it's been decorated. So, Mum will have to stay with me for the time being. Well, don't worry, Mrs. B. I can decorate it for you. Oh, could you, Bob? Oh, that would be wonderful. You leave it to me. I'll come round right away. Muck and Rolly can manage here on their own. Yes, we can! Oh, Pilchard. Don't you like the smell of paint? Wow. Oh, well, don't you worry. I've almost finished. And it'll soon dry. Oh, there. Pretty good if I say so myself. Hi, I'm back. I didn't think Bob would be back quite that quickly. Wendy, have you finished with the... Uh... Oh, you have. Wow. I have what? Finished the decorating. You've made a great job of it, too. Thanks, Bob. Can I borrow your brushes and stuff? I've told Mrs Broadbent that I'd decorate the new flat I built for her. You? But, Bob, you're a builder, not a decorator. Well, it can't be that hard, can it? Hey, Dizzy, you can come, too. You'll be great at mixing wallpaper paste. <laughs> come on, then, you two. Ready, Bob? Yeah! Can we paint it? Yes, we can! Right. We'll have this place decorated quicker than you can say emulsion paint. Emulsion paint? <laughs> yes, all right. Perhaps not quite that quickly. OK, let's get started. How's the mixing going, Dizzy? <laughs> It's a special fold-up table for pasting wallpaper on. You just flip this catch and... Ah, there. Piece of cake. Now. Start again. Ah, I think I've got the hang of it now. So. Finished now. I think I'm beginning to get the hang of it. Yes, I see. Um, Bob, 
Why don't you go and have some lunch, and I'll get this place tidied up a bit, and then you can come back and finish off. How's that? Oh, well, all right, then. Oh, I'd better go and see how Rolly and Muck are doing, too. I'll be as quick as I can. No, no, wrong! Come on, then, Scoop. Touch, go! We'd better make a start, then. Well, I suppose we'd better get back to the decorating. Wish it was as easy as pavements. Ah, oh, Bob, all finished? Uh, well, I, I was... That is, um, not quite. It, it, it's, it's, um... No, I, I mean, um, lovely evening. Yes. <laughs> now I can't wait to see how the room's looking. Oh, dear. Bob! I'm sorry, Mrs. What Bro a wonderful job. I know, I, I had a bit of an axe. What? Thank you, Bob. Oh, it's lovely. Mother will be so pleased. Oh, don't thank me, Mrs Broadbent. Wendy did it all, and it's brilliant. My! <laughs> what a talented pair you are. Oh, thank you, Wendy. You know... You really are a dab hand with a paintbrush, Wendy. Which is more than could be said for you, Bob. <laughs> I don't know when I've ever seen such a mess. Well, that's because I'm always too busy to do anything about it. Not the yard, Bob. Mrs Broadbent. Well, <laughs> yes. Yes, I was a bit of a disaster, wasn't I? But now I think about it, the yard could do with a bit of brightening up. Yes! We could paint our sheds! Oh, yeah! That's brilliant! I'm going to do mine blue! Uh, no, uh, red! Uh, um, or green! You get me really excited! I really like painting! Oh! oh yeah, I, I, I would like to paint the roofs! I want a, a big rainbow! Well, Wendy, what do you think? Where should we start? <laughs> Wendy? I think I've had quite enough of painting for one day. People are here to pick up the same prescription. They both know drug costs are out of control, but one of them is taking back control with GoodRx. So while he's paying that much, she's paying this much. Stop paying too much for your prescriptions. Download the free app today. someone to talk to. I'm a lioness, by the way, and this is my story. Most lions live on the African savanna. It's beautiful here. <sighs> lions belong to the cat family, and we love being together. A group of lions is called a pride. A pride is made up of lionesses, cubs, and one or two male lions. In our pride, there's only one lion. And boy, is he full of himself. Hmm. He is considered king of the animals. While he's lying about, me and my sisters keep busy. We spend our time hunting for food. But when we come home after our hunt, 
He always eats first and gives us the leftovers. We also care for our young and teach them all they need to know. Meanwhile, what does His Highness do? You guessed it, he lies around getting a suntan. Oh, I'm just teasing. There's more to it than just tanning. He isn't really getting a suntan. He's actually watching over us. See, we live on a piece of land we call our territory. If another lion approaches our territory, he roars. But he's also ready to fight if the other lion doesn't go away, which is pretty brave. Still, there's something I don't understand. If he's king, why shouldn't I be queen? Oh, it's that big hairy mane of his, right? Well, no thanks. He can keep it. I prefer my hair short. Our young cubs are hungry, so we better go hunting. Hey, thanks for listening. See ya. Go inside the imagination of Chirp. Explore the unknown. Turn on the super hyper speed fires. <laughs> and even learn something new. Penguins live in the Antarctic. <laughs> Chirp on Cubo. <laughs> She laid two eggs yesterday. What are you looking for? Crows? Oh, stop looking then. You found them. We're crows. You should have guessed we was crows, you know. Crows are known for their black colour. Don't take your eyes off her. I'll talk to these guys. I hope it didn't take you too long to find us, because we crows can be found almost everywhere. <laughs> right, mate? Oh, yeah. You find us crows in woodlands, seashores, mountains, cities. Did I miss anything? Push it? Nah, don't worry. She'll leave soon enough. Just you wait and see. Crows can nest in trees, cliffs, or even in buildings. They're large, strong, adaptable birds with powerful beaks and legs. And we feel at home whether we're in the air or on the ground. Crows are perching birds, and the reason we perch is so that we can see what is going on in all directions. And when we see something we like, like eggs, we go get it. Without asking for permission. <laughs> no, 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 we're not thieves. We're the NLBP. That stands for the natural regulators of bird populations. See, when other birds are building their nests, we watch them. We remember their place of nesting. Then, when we're hungry, Bob's your uncle. Just go and get us some eggs. Doesn't look like she's ever gonna leave. So, how about it, mate? Let's go. You'll know where to find us from now on. Everywhere. Cheerio. <laughs> the job done. Wendy, I'm off to the town hall. Oh, could you pop into 
to Mrs. Potts on the way? I'm a bit pushed for time. She was hoping you could dig the holes for a garden statues. Oh, right. Well, of course I'll drop by. Thanks, Bob. Now then, I'll need Mock, Dizzy and Scoop. Oh, well, what are we going to do today, Bob? We're going to put bollards around the town hall. Goody! <laughs> um, what are bollards, Bob? They're things you stick in the ground that stop the traffic. Oh, come on, Mark! <laughs> Hang about, Dizzy. I need to get a few things together. Like what, Bob? Like tools, Mark. That's what builders use. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mock, you can carry the pneumatic drill. And Scoop, you can take the new edging stones to go around the bollards. What shall I take, Bob? How about a bag of cement, Dizzy? Oh, yes! to see you. Hello, Mrs. Potts. Now, Wendy said you needed some holes digging. How many do you want? Well, I've got Frog here. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. And there'll be two dancing fairies, a pixie, a goblin, a windmill and, uh, oh, uh, something else. Um, well, I'll dig six holes to start with and see how we get on. <laughs> We'd better get to the town hall. Hello, team. <laughs> there. That should do it. Cover your ears, team. This is going to be loud. I've brought the wrong edging stones. We'll have to go back for the right ones. Right you are, Bob. Dizzy, Mark, I'm going back to the yard with Scoop. You two stay here just in case the delivery man turns up with the bollards. OK, Bob. See you later. Bye. Hello, Bob's building yard. <laughs> Mrs Potts. Oh, did Bob come and see you? Oh, that's good. You have to go to the shops? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm sure the statues won't arrive while you're out. Bye. <laughs> Dear Mrs Potts. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Where 
We're really good at this, Dizzy. are here, where are the bollards? Scoop, you don't think that... Where are Dizzy and Mark? Mrs. Ah! Potts! Hello! Hi there. Hello! <gasps> oh, what's going on? Where are my garden statues? We, um, well, we are, um... Well, well, it's... Uh... This is Bart! Bob? <gasps> Bollards! We were only trying to help, Bob. Really, we were? Where are my statues? Don't worry, Mrs. Potts. I'll sort everything out. I know exactly where your statues are. <laughs> OK, Lofty, bring him up. That's better. Uh, Bob, what shall I do with this? Hang on to it, Lofty. We're taking it to Mrs. Potts. Oh, my Greek god! No, oh, that's the one I couldn't remember. Aren't they beautiful? Very, uh, very nice, Mrs. Potts. What are you going to do with him? Well, Bob, he's a little present for you. Oh, it's just what I've always wanted. Thank you, Mrs. Potts. Look, everyone. A frog. shopping online at Chewy. You can get that big bag of dog food delivered to your door. Check it out. We get all of our pets' food and toys. They even have prescriptions. Don't forget about Tucker's new ride. Oh. Get fast, free shipping with Chewy. Rings true! <sighs> Max, where have you been? I thought you were going to be late for our first day of class. <sighs> Oh my gosh, the school is like a maze. I've gotten lost trying to find a building. Hmm, well, I guess your reason rings true to me. I know your sense of direction isn't always the best. What? The school bell rang? How come I didn't hear it? We need to get going. Oh, Max, calm down. Rings true means something is real or genuine. Back in the Middle Ages, the coins used as money were made of gold or silver. 
Sometimes, people would make fake coins out of cheaper metals. So to test whether a coin was real or not, merchants would drop it on a hard surface and listen for the ring sound that a real coin made. If it rang true, they knew it was real. Now, that bell ringing sounds true. Now, come on, hurry up. Yeah, okay. Nobody's using this playground because nobody knows it's here. We have just three days to build a playground that no one will ever miss again. Give back and get active within your communities. Maybe we can change that top tube into a megaphone. I think that would be the perfect idea. By renovating and building playgrounds. That was amazing! Start your timers. Giver's digging up a playground. Giver, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. Howdy, I'm a donkey. I'm a male donkey, so you can call me Bobby. Some say all donkeys are stubborn. Maybe. We are all animals with dark brown skin, like mine. In fact, donkeys are intelligent. Peaceful and hardworking. That's why folk bring us to live with them on their farms. This is my wife, my sweet petal. Jenny is what we call a female donkey. Working animals like the two of us can have many jobs on the farm. Because we are quiet and peaceful, some people let their children ride on our backs. Because we are hardworking, some people use us to carry goods. That ain't my favorite job. Jenny, my beautiful wife, cares for me and protects the sheep. If Jenny suspects danger, she alerts the sheep, and sometimes she can hurt the predator or chase them away. She's strong. That's why I love her. Though we donkeys might be tough, we're pretty sensitive to snow, rain, and wind. Our coats don't protect us so well from these things. When it gets cold, it's better to take us inside. Much better. Thanks, Jenny. We prefer warmer, drier climates, if you know what I mean. Donkeys eat hay and grain and some fine straw every now and then, but we are very fussy about water. Water gotta be fresh and clean. We drink a lot of water every day. My sweet petal. Can we have a little privacy, please? Y'all take care now. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Get on board with Captain Leonardo on his mission to restore the kingdom's art knowledge. Pirates Adventure and Art, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. They get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Built Jud and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, right. This is the last of the rubbish team. <laughs> Very nice, Bilchard. <laughs> Good. We've collected lots of different sorts of stuff. But, Bob, why do you want it? For recycling, Dizzy. Re Recycling. It's when rubbish is sorted out for reuse. The bits we can't use again, Rolly will squash flat and take to the tip. I can squash it! <laughs> yes, right, Rolly. Scoop, muck, let's get going. Uh, oh, Bob, stop 
off at Farmer Pickles. He's got lots of stuff for collection. No problem, Wendy. Can we collect it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Collect it off. Need that. Need that. Oh, we've forgotten about this. What are you doing, Farmer Pickles? I'm having a clear out. What's in the box? Something very special. My grand's tea set. Oh, can I see it? It's very old and delicate. Oh, that is old, isn't it? Mm. Now I'd better put it back. Don't want to break anything. No, don't want to break anything. Hello, Farmer Pickles. A sheep's got out. Oh no, I'll be, I'll be right there. Travis, you wait here. Tell Bob that all this is for recycling. All right. Oh, and can you keep an eye on my tea set till I come back? I'll take very special care of it. Well, thanks, Travis. What are you doing, Bob? Making a bench. Hey, that's great. Nice one, Bob. Ha-ha! <laughs> Recycling Bob the Builder's way. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Bob. Oh, well, maybe it could do with a couple of nails in it first. Hello, Travis. Fancy a game of hide-and-seek? I can't. I'm waiting for Bob. Oh, come on, Travis. You know you wanna. We'll play here so you can see when Bob arrives. I'll let you hide first. Oh, oh all right, then. Oh, I'll count to 20, shall I? A one, a three, and a five, and then... What are you looking for, Bob? Things I can use. You never know what you might find. Look! A hammer! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, we'll keep looking, team. OK, Bob. We'll do, Bob. Right, next stop, Farmer Pickles Barn. Let's go! Uh, Twelve and uh, two and uh, thirteen. Twenty, coming ready or not? <laughs> Are you there? No. Uh, 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 come out, Travis. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hello, Spud. Oh, uh, uh, hello, Bob. What are you up to, Spud? Oh, uh, nothing, Bob. Uh, just scaring birds. Look. <laughs> See, Bob? Yes, Spud. Is this rubbish for recycling? Uh, uh, yes, that's right, Bob. OK, team. Collect it up. Let's get moving. Bye, Spud. Bye, Bob. Hi, Travis. Oh, hi, Bob. Oh, no. Oh, Spud. Where's the cardboard box gone? Oh, Bob's taken it away. It's got Farmer Pickles' tea set in it. I've got to get it back. Come back, Travis. It's my turn to hide. Never catch up with them. <gasps> I know. I'll take a shortcut across the field. Bob! Bob! Where's Farmer Pickle's box gone? Oh, where is everyone? Oh, it's no use. I'll never find them. Farmer Pickles will be so upset. Hello, team. Hello. Hi. <laughs> well, we've made a start, haven't we, team? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. The paper goes in here. Uh, the uh, plastic goes in here. And the boots go in here. And this one is for the glass bottles. <laughs> right. 
Well, we'd better get to work. Can we recycle? Yes, we can! Uh, well, I think so. This can be recycled. Uh, Scoop, I'll leave this here and we'll take it back to the yard. OK, Wendy, no prob. Travis, I'm back. Oh, dear. Here comes Farmer Pickles. How am I going to tell him? Well, that's the sheep found. Now, what was I doing? Oh, uh, oh. Farmer Pickles, I've, uh, I've got something to tell you. Mm -hmm. What's that, Travis? Well, there was a mistake and... Uh, Bob took your tea set away with the rubbish. I'm really sorry, Farmer Pickles. Oh, no. My tea set. I chased after Bob, but I wasn't fast enough, and I couldn't find him anywhere. Oh, it's all right, Travis. I know you didn't mean it to happen. I'll phone Bob right away and ask him to keep it safe. Oh, no. My battery's flat. Come on, Travis. We better go and have another look for Bob. Phew! That was hard work. <laughs> it was lots of fun, though, wasn't it, Bob? Yes, it was, Dizzy. And you were brilliant helpers. Well, I don't know about you, Bob, but I'm thirsty. I'll put the kettle on. Oh, thanks, Wendy. That'll be great. Right then, Roly. Everything that's left is rubbish. You can cross it all. Then we'll take it to the tip. All right! Let's rock and roll! I hope we find Bob in time. We'll soon be at the yard. I hope Bob's back. Hang on, Rolly. I nearly forgot. This box can be crushed too. Too late. What's wrong, Farmer Pickles? I'm sorry, Farmer Pickles. That box Roly has just squashed had my grandmother's old tea set in it. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, Bob. That's terrible. No, it's not, Bob. Cause... Well, maybe we can stick it back together. Oh, dear. It might be too late for that. But, Bob, it's not... He's ready. I don't think I want a cup of tea now. Oh. Oh, hi, Farmer Pickles. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, no, thanks, Wendy. I'm not... <gasps> oh, my tea set! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> nice one. Oh, Wendy! Well done! <laughs> <laughs> about the weather, the seasons, and what happens when we plant a sunflower seed in the ground. Season number three is called autumn. 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 The wind is blowing. Yeah. OK, bye! <laughs> I am the giant panda. Chinese people call me giant bear cat, but you can call me panda. I live up high in the mountains of China. I love it here. 
Where I live, there are streams and rivers and amazing waterfalls. It's good there's so much water here because we drink a lot. There are even stories that sometimes we drink so much it makes us dizzy. <laughs> We also love these mountains because they are covered with bamboo forests. Bamboo is delicious. When we want to eat, we lean our backs against the trees and hold the bamboo with our forepaws. This extra long wrist helps me grip my food better. Besides drinking a lot, we eat a lot. We eat for up to 14 hours a day. We have to keep eating all day so we get enough nourishment from the bamboo. How peaceful it is here. But it gets very cold when it snows. Not to worry. Our fur keeps us nice and warm and dry. We pandas love being completely on our own. <sighs> Eating has made me quite sleepy. One more bite and I'll go to bed. <laughs> In these mountains, we sleep anywhere we want. Here is as good a place as any. Night night. Francine, we are company. Wake up. Anyhow, welcome to Southern Africa, our home. We like living here because we like dry, arid savannas and we hate damp and cold areas. Oh, Francine, tortoises are, if you like, terrestrial turtles. Some call us land turtles, although to you we probably look like a box with legs. There's a little bit more to us than that. Tortoises have short feet with unwebbed toes. Some of us have high domed upper shells, and some have flat pancake-like shells. Some tortoises are small in size, and some are giants, like the Galapagos giant tortoises. What are you doing in there, Francine? Our shells do make us slow, very slow when we move, but they are a great protection against predators. See, when a predator approaches, we can retreat entirely inside our hard shells so he can't get to us. Works every time. Francine, you are rude. I am going to lunch now, and you're not invited! I'm sorry again for Francine's manners. She is not always like that. It's a flower catalogue, Dizzy. Yippee! <laughs> I love flowers. Um, what do we need flowers for, Bob? Well, Rolly, I've entered us in the brightest building yard competition. It's to find the tidiest, brightest building yard. 
I'm going to have a big tidy up, get rid of all the rubbish and decorate the yard with flowers. <laughs> In fact, I'd better get a move on. I'd forgotten it was today. The judges are coming at five o'clock. Right, team. Mutt will stay and help Bob tidy the yard, and I'll come with the rest of you to get the football pitch ready for tonight's big match. Ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Um, yeah I think so. Then let's go! Can we build it? Yes! yes. to make sure this field is really flat. Oh, yeah, Wendy! Rock and roll! Now, Scoop, have you got the... the... paint, Wendy. Here it is. <laughs> no wonder Bob says you're the best team a builder ever had. Oh! Great. I'll arrange for everything to be collected. Thanks. Bye. Right, Muck. Could you go to the garden centre and pick up the plants I've ordered? I'm on my way, Bob. It's not going to be easy, Pilchard, but we might just get the yard ready by five o'clock after all. <laughs> From. Uh, Wendy, look! Oh, no! <laughs> Time to go. Spot, did you kick that ball? Great kick, eh, Wendy? Oh, really high. Spot. Oh, sorry, Wendy. Uh, I didn't mean to mess up your line. Uh, I was just showing Dizzy some football tricks. Well, now you can fetch a bucket and mop and show Dizzy your cleaning up tricks. Spud's on the job, Bob. Uh, I mean, Wendy. Uh... Sorry, Pilchard. I need to stand there to fix a bracket for the hanging baskets. <coughs> Thank you, Pilchard. <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> Thank you, Pilchard. I'm sure you can find a sunny spot somewhere else. <coughs> I hope Muck gets back from the garden centre soon, or the yard won't be ready in time. Here I am, Bob. Oh, well done, Muck. Right, let's get these plants unloaded, then we can get rid of the rubbish. Bye. <laughs> Wrong, you scooped Pilchard up with the rubbish. Oh, oh sorry, Pilchard. I didn't realise you were there. Oh, no. More cleaning up to do. I'll never get the yard ready at this rate. I hope Wendy's having more luck than me. Oh. Oh, I'll just put that there like that. Off we go, then, Lofty. Only one more hanging basket to go, and the yard will be ready. Huh? Oh, 
I know it makes a lovely nest, bird, but you're making the flowers look untidy. And with time to spare. <laughs> what a team. Can we play a game now, Wendy? Please? Well, uh, the judges aren't due at the yard until five. I think we've got time. Yippee! Uh... There. Back to how they should look. Right. Now I'd better tidy myself up. We've got visitors. Hmm? <gasps> oh, no! The judges are here! It's almost five o'clock. judges arrive. It's too late for that, Wendy. The judges arrived early, and they've already gone. What? Really? Well, what did they say? Oh, 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 what did they say? Quick, quick, come, tell us, tell us, tell, tell us. Tell us. me what the judges said, Muck. Please. Uh, I can't, but Bob can. Well, we were the last yard they looked at. They had a really good luck round, and we won! First prize in the brightest building yard competition! Yay! Yay! I knew it! I knew it! I could tell by the look in his eyes! I knew that! Oh, Bob! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful! Well done! The yard looks really clean, Bob. <laughs> but, but you're all dirty! <laughs> you're right there, Dizzy. Lucky for you, Bob, it wasn't a brightest builder competition. Oh, Wendy. A taste for a deal? Want a hamburger, some fries, a drink, nuggets? Boom! Rewarded with the Wendy's 4 for 4 perk on Grubhub. Learn English with Omnom. Learn colors with Omnom. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What we call our young ones. Just look at it. Still too young to eat fish yet. Or squid. I keep telling you, drink your milk and you'll grow fast. But does he listen? Huh. Seal milk is so rich in energy, he'll only need to drink for a short while before he turns into a carnivore. That's a meat eater. You're shivering from the cold. Come and have your milk. It'll keep you warm. Atta boy. You see, seals are mammals, and my rich milk will help you form this thick layer of fat under your skin. It's called blubber, and it'll protect pup from the cold. Good boy. Want to go for a swim, pup? I know on land we look slow and clumsy. But in the water, thanks to our flippers, we're fast and graceful. He wants me to go too. In a minute, Pop! Our bodies are fish-like and we're covered with waterproof hair. We can stay underwater for a long time. And for that reason, we slow down our heartbeat. But in the end, we have to go up to the surface for air. So you want to see Mommy catching a fish? Well, then, let's go. Bye, kids. Be a part of the magical world of Maggie as she and her favorite toys explore Nowhere Land, where they can play and have endless adventures. Maggie and the Ferocious Beast, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. the job done. Team, nearly finished. Hmm. Just got to knock out some of that cracked plaster work. Okay, Bob! Oh, uh, have we? Hello, Bob the Builder? Hello, Bob. Yeah, it's Wendy. I'm just going back up to the field to help the others finish off. I'll put the answering machine on. Okay, Wendy. See you back at the yard. Bye. 
Right then, Lofty. If I go up the ladder, can you pass me the tools? Uh, I think so. right -o. Up I go. Oh, it's such a lovely day. Let's walk for a change, Pilchard. <laughs> Come on, then. It'll keep us fit. <laughs> What a joke. How can you tell if an elephant's been in your fridge? Um, I, I, I don't know, Muck. How can you tell if an elephant's been in your fridge? By the footprints in the butter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Muck, stop chattering and let Dizzy get on with her mixing. Oh, I was only telling her a joke. Oh, we haven't got time for jokes. We're running late and it'll be dark soon. Oh, OK. I was only having a bit of fun. Righto, Lofty. You can pass up my tools now. Uh, 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 Bob's a long way up. Don't worry, Lofty. You're not going up there. You're just lifting something up there. <laughs> uh, uh, but I really, really don't like high up things. Scoop's always picking on me. No, he isn't. Oh, don't be such a silly Billy. Hey, Mark, I told you before. Stop chattering. See? Told you. Oh, Mark. Scoop just wants to get the job finished. Huh. Well, let's see how he gets it finished without me. Left a bit. Oh. Nearly there, Lofty. Oh. Oh. oh, no! I forgot to tie the ladders and the scaffolding. Oh, dear. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? You've knocked the ladder away, Lofty. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Bob. Bob's stuck on a scaffolding, Lofty. We have to get him down. It's OK, Rolly. Lofty, raise your hook up here. I'll jump on. Then you can lower me to the ground. Oh, uh, all right. Come on, then. Where's Muck, Dizzy? Um, well, I don't know. Um, he's gone. Gone? Why? Um, he's sulking. He thought you were picking on him. I wasn't. I just wanted to get the job done. Hello, you two. Where's Muck? But picking it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair, not fair, not fair. That's it, Lofty. Steady as you go. It's all right, Lofty. It's only a bat. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah! So I go after him, Bob. Better not, Rolly. It's dark. I'll ring Wendy. Or I would do if I could reach the phone. Oh. I don't like the dark. Mark! 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 Right. I'll call Bob and see if he's seen him. Pilchard. We'll just have to go and look for Muck ourselves. Come on, Scoop. Dizzy, 
You stay here with Pilchard in case Muck comes back. OK, Wendy. <laughs> in bed at home. Bob? Hang on. Yes! Can we rescue? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Right then, Lofty. Help me lift the ladder back up to Bob. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. You, you just need to keep the top steady. Oh, uh, I can't look, though. Don't worry. I'll help you. Now, up we go then, Lofty. Uh, Done, team. Um, is it time to go home now? <laughs> yes. Come on. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm really, really sorry, Bob. Well, it wasn't all your fault, Lofty. If Bob had tied his ladder to the scaffolding... You're right, Wendy. None of this would have happened. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> oh, right. Come on. Let's go home. Scoop. Yes, Muck. I'm sorry I was a silly Billy. Oh, that's all right, Muck. Sorry I upset you. Didn't mean to. I oh, know. Um, can we be friends again? Yes, we can. <laughs> Mustn't wake the others. Night, Scoop. Night, Muck. Sleep tight. <laughs> happens when we mix yellow with blue. Yellow! Blue! Can you guess what colour we have made? Green! That's right! Green! Well done! Mixing yellow with blue makes green. Keep your distance 
as I'm known to be poisonous. I belong to the Viper family of snakes, you see. And we are quick and ruthless. Like I said, quick and ruthless. We are called rattlesnakes because of the rattle that we have at the end of our tails. When we shake our tail, rings of dry scales rattle against one another. So when you hear that sound, little ones, you had better watch out. By flicking our tongue, we can tell if food is near. We are special that way, as our tongue picks up animal smells from the air. We can also follow our prey by tracking its body heat. And when we find our prey, we bite it with our fangs. Our fangs are hollow teeth. Poison travels through them. Deadly, aren't they? My tasty meal is then ready to be eaten. Bye, little ones. And remember, next time I won't miss. like a knight from a chessboard. And I suppose you're gonna say, I don't even look like a fish. Well, get over it, because I am a fish. I'm a seahorse. Besides being told that I have a head that looks like a chess piece, I've been told that I have the tail of a monkey, the eyes of a chameleon, and a body that seems carved out of wood. You were so right. Sea horses are so not like other fish. I'll give you a few examples. Have you ever seen a fish swim upright like this? No. Why do we do it? It's because of our body shape. Our dorsal fin drives us through the water. Slowly but surely, we use our tails like anchors. When we want to stop or just be still, we grasp seaweed or coral. By keeping still, and thanks to our shape and color, we can escape the big fish. That was close. Keeping still is also our way to hunt. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your eyes. But my eyes, a bit like the chameleon, are able to look in different directions at the same time. This way, one of our eyes searches for small water creatures for us to eat, while the other eye keeps a lookout for predators. Okay, did you know that it's the daddy seahorse that gets pregnant? Oh, it's hurting a bit. Listen, my babies are ready to come out from their pocket. Oh, oh! Welcome to the world, my little babies. Watch out! 
This is a builder's yard, not a tennis court. Morning, Bob. Morning. Morning, team. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hello. You should see the new tennis court, Wendy. Mark and I dug out the base for it yesterday. And then we filled it with hardcore. And then I rolled it flat and smooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Bob says I'm going to make a special green mix today. That's right, Dizzy. We're going to use a special mix to give the surface a nice spring. Uh, why, Wendy? So that the balls will bounce properly. Oh. I see. Well, we'd better get a move on. Ready, Dizzy? Roll it? Yeah! Let's rock and roll it! Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Bye, Bye Wendy! Bye, Lou! <laughs> Hiya, Travis. What have you got there? It's a net for the new tennis court. Farmer Pickles asked me to deliver it to Wendy. Oh, nothing to eat then, Travis. I'm starving. No spud. Sorry. Oh, I think I'll come with you. Maybe Wendy's got some yummy sandwiches. A green mixture. <laughs> yes, makes a change. Oh, can we try different colours with every job, Wendy? I mean, we could have blue, purple, and yellow cement. <laughs> Lovely! Just lovely! Oh, that's a perfect job, Rolly. Uh, yeah? Oh, thanks. Now, while that's drying, we'll go back to the yard and pick up the wire fencing. Uh, and I'll need Scoop to help me push it up. Let's go! Oh, I'm hungry. Where's Wendy? Farmer Pickle said she'd be here. Maybe she's gone back to the yard for some sandwiches. Oh, dear. I hope she comes back soon. I promised Farmer Pickles I'd deliver the net, then go straight back home. Ah, uh, I know. I'll unload the net for Wendy. She'll be so pleased she's bound to give me some sandwiches. Maybe even a slice of cake. Oh, but Spud, the net's very heavy. No problem. Spud's on the job. <laughs> What are we going to do, Spud? Wendy will be so upset. Everybody will be cross. Don't worry, Travis. Spud's got an idea. We'll cover it up. Oh, hi, Bob. Just came back for the wire fencing. Oh, that's quick work, Wendy. <laughs> I've got a good team, Bob. <laughs> the best. Ah, uh, Spud, it's very lumpy. Ah, we can smooth it. Rolly smooths wet cement when he rolls over it. Come on, Travis, move it. Come on, move it. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Move it, Travis. Move it before Wendy comes back. Ooh. Oh, all right. Here goes. Oh, Wendy. 
Sorry, Wendy. We didn't know it was wet. My lovely, smooth tennis court. I, I was just trying to make it smooth again, Wendy. Oh, well, we'll just have to resurface the court. Hello, Bob. It's me. Oh, hi, Wendy. How's the tennis court going? Oh, um, fine, Bob. But I just need you to send Dizzy and Rolly back here. Oh? Why? I'll explain later. OK, Wendy. They're on their way. Thanks, Bob. Bye. Bye. everyone. We got there in the end. Yeah! No worries! Um, <laughs> uh, can I help, Wendy? Yes, bud. Don't touch anything. Oh. Oh, Wendy! Well done! Thanks, Bob. I'll give you a hand with the scoreboard. Right. One tennis court ready for action. Um... Do you want to play, Wendy? Oh, yes, Bob. Oh, but we don't have any rackets. But I think we have. Muck? I've got them, Wendy. Oh, good. <gasps> oh! oh. Thank you, Wendy. You're a good player. You beat me fair and square. Oh, I think I've got tennis knee. <laughs> oh, phew. I'm thirsty. Well, I've brought some lemonade, Wendy, and a cake for the winner. Oh, good. Did you say a cake for the winner? Anyone for tennis? Whoopee! <laughs> <laughs> 